livestock aptly called pashudhan in hindi play a significant role in indian economy with around 6.8% contribution to national gdp and employing 8% of the labor force livestock sector has registered an impressive growth in the last 20 years However, endemicity of a single livestock disease in the country is hampering the expected growth in this sector. The foot and mouth disease, FMD, a highly contagious viral disease, is endemic in India and occurs across the country round the year, causing hefty economic losses to the nation. Realizing the need to combat FMD, the Indian Council of Agricultural Research ICAR initiated a humble vaccination program way back in 1943 since then ICAR is continuously strengthening and upgrading research on epidemiology surveillance and monitoring program that ultimately led to establishment of a project directorate on foot and mouth disease with the central laboratory at Mukteswar Uttarakhand supported by eight regional centers and 15 network units strategically located across the country the directorate is mandated to undertake active epidemiological surveillance and study genomic structure of the fmd virus strain causing outbreak of the disease as a capacity building exercise the directorate provides quality education and training in diagnosis and epidemiology of fmd Foot and mouth disease (FMD) is a disease endemic in the country. It occurs throughout the year. The earliest documentation of disease has been in 18th century. Even in those days, the importance of disease was felt. ICER initiated a project in 1943 during Second World War, a vaccination of Indian cattle against FMD. Since then, the importance of disease was felt. but that time they felt we are vaccinating okay but what are other other epidemiological informations the diagnostic capability so in 1968 this project was expanded to increase the diagnostic capability in the country to start epidemiological observations analysis that is in 1968 in 1971 again this project got expanded in the terms of mandate so the final mandate was surveillance diagnosis and epidemiology of fmd in the country to provide real time information to plan control of the disease in phases the fmd is a risk group for disease of trans boundary importance due to highly contagious nature of its causative agent the rna virus of the family picorna viridae of the seven immunologically distinct forms that is serotypes o A, C, Asia one, Sat one, Sat two, Sat three. Only four were reported in India, and presently only three are prevalent in the country. Type O is responsible for 80 to 85 percent outbreak, followed by types Asia one and A. The huge 482 million livestock population, which includes cattle, buffaloes, sheep, goat. big yak and mithun are under the constant risk for fmd the dreaded fmd virus does not cause high mortality in adults but debilitates animal resulting in loss of productivity for a considerable period it causes a direct loss of over 20000 crore rupees per annum due to loss of milk production only besides heavy losses due to trade embargo by countries free from the disease The directorate extends complete technical and logistic support to the National FMD Control Program launched by Department of Animal Husbandry, Dairy and Fisheries, Government of India. In the 54 specified districts, which includes six monthly vaccination of susceptible livestock, the central laboratory at Mukteswar conducts the serum testing along with regional centers and network units. The indigenously developed LPB LI circuit for sero monitoring has made the country self-sufficient and facilitated the implementation of control program that has further brought down the incidence. 
The directorate supplied all the reagents and consumables required for the test along with the protocol to all testing centers. This rapid and precise timely diagnostic kit is cheaper than those available internationally. Diagnosis and surveillance of FMD is a major animal health activity in the country. Our directorate has made the country self-sufficient by developing several diagnostic kits such as these for FMD diagnosis, seromonitoring and seroservillance and these are being used successfully throughout the country. This has resulted in saving valuable foreign exchange. This directorate has supplied more than 1 lakh kits to our regional centers, network units and the vaccine manufacturers to be used for FMT diagnosis and surveillance. The response of these kits have a very encouraging result and this is a major activity in the process of controlling FMD. Developing of other diagnostic kits such as pencil diagnosis is in the pipeline. In a bid to develop latest technique for FMD virus diagnosis and surveillance, the directorate developed a sensitive kit for differentiation of FMD virus infected from vaccinated animals. Commonly known as Diva kit, it is comparable to other commercially available kits internationally. The Diva kit, first of its kind in the country for any animal disease, is amenable to mass-scale comprehensive sero-surveillance. Designated as per the OIE approved guidelines, it is at least fourfold cheaper at 25,000 rupees per 450 tests than the commercial Diva kit available on import. The kit will be of immense help as control program expands gradually with the rate of incidents dropping further in the country. The regional centers and network units remain alert around the year to attend suspected field outbreaks of FMD and collect clinical material and epidemiological data. The reconfirmation and subsequent isolation of virus for further characterization and studies is taken up by the directorate at Mukteshwar. The central laboratory processes clinical tissue samples by employing sandwich ELISA method. To speed up the process, a multiplex PCR was developed and evaluated and is being used successfully to give diagnosis in ELISA negative samples. A vaccine matching exercise assesses the antigenic coverage conferred by the vaccine strains being used in the country. The directorate employs the powerful and sensitive tool of molecular epidemiology to identify the source of an outbreak, geographical distribution and track the transmission for infection. The FMD virus isolated and collected from different states are subjected to nucleotide sequencing at one D gene. The sequence data thus generated is used for molecular phylogeny which provides evolution of FMD virus in the country. The RT-PCR oligoprobing ELISA and dot hybridization assay developed by the directorate showed 1,010-fold greater sensitivity than the sandwich ELISA respectively. To ensure the uniformity in results, the diagnostic kits developed by the directorate are supplied to all laboratories working on FMD including industry. The directorate maintains a national FMD virus repository having viruses isolated since 1985. It donates, isolates for molecular epidemiology and also helps in ascertaining antigenic relationship between the field and vaccine strains and selection of candidate vaccine strains as and when required. The project directorate is striving to make national FMD control program a successful one by providing technical inputs. Advise the deletion of type C vaccine strain from the quadrivalent FMD vaccine, thus reducing the cost of vaccine production. Assure the role of various factors associated with the origin cause and development of FMD outbreaks. Selected a new type A vaccine candidate for incorporation in FMD vaccine formulation. The project directorate accumulated epidemiological data to evaluate the economic impact of the disease. It facilitated the development of effective strategy for FMD control program in India. No doubt, the directorate is recognized as a resource center for epidemiological data for the ambitious program. 
on the recommendation of OIE, FAO and considering the economic importance of FMD in SAC region, ICAR has decided to establish an international center for FMD with containment laboratory during the 11th five-year plan period at Bhubaneswar, Orissa. Working under the umbrella of Project Directorate on FMD, it will provide required support and facilitation to South Asian FMD control campaign. The International Center will also function as Central FMD Vaccine Quality Assurance Agency. Over the years, Project Directorate has developed fruitful international and institutional collaborations and linkages to combat the FMD at national and global level. Project Directorate is a member participant in OIE FAO Global Network of FMD Reference Laboratories and Global FMD Vaccine Matching Exercise with Network Partners. Project Directorate is also a member participant in Global FMD Research Alliance. The effective linkages of the Project Directorate developed with Indian FMD vaccine industry are proving beneficial in lowering the FMD outbreaks in the country. As an effort to assess the impact of regular vaccination in restricting circulation of virus in susceptible livestock population, Project Directorate initiated a countrywide survey, sero monitoring for the first time in the country. The examination of more than 50,000 serum samples indicated that prevalence of disease varies from 5% to 46% in different states. A gradual reduction in the number of FMD outbreaks is also observed over the years. The Project Directorate on FMD is continuously expanding its horizon with development of more specific genome-based diagnostics and rapid sensitive point-of-care diagnostics. It aims to attend at least 80% of the FMD outbreaks in the country by 2012. Our director has uh, the vision in helping control of the disease followed by eradication by providing real-time data on epidemiology of the disease in the country and advising on the most appropriate vaccine virus for using the vaccine. Because in India, control of FMD only can be through vaccination. We cannot opt for cattle slaughter, what others can do to negate the disease. We have to depend on only vaccination every six months. Each animal, cattle, buffalo. The project directorate is marching ahead in its mission to minimize the FMD outbreaks and enhance the productivity of livestock in the country. Several milestones have been achieved, but no room for complacence. Journey still continues with more zeal and enthusiasm.